is an, an instructional video of how to use number pieces. Our objectives for today are that we will learn the use of appropriate technology tools to assist in the problem solving process. We'll use place value understanding to solve addition and subtraction problems. And we will learn to use the number pieces software from Math Learning Center. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my um, software application found um, for free on the iTunes App Store. It's also available for free uh, for the web version and on other software stores. So there's mine on the left, number pieces. This is what it looks like, a nice blank canvas. Now just a couple introduction to some of the tools. Um, if I go on to the very bottom right where there's that little eye, that takes me to some information. There's a look at the overview of what this is about. Um, it says, number pieces help students develop a deeper understanding of place value while building their computation skills with multi-digit numbers. So that means using computation skills of addition, subtraction, um, and then later on, division and multiplication um, with, with multi-digit numbers. That means not just something in the ones place, but in the tens and the hundreds as well. Um, Here's a lot of great information about, uh, or more resources if you need to use the web version or other apps. Um, and this gives you some how-to instructions. They're very simple and nicely illustrated on here, um, but I'm going to demonstrate it for you right now. The one tool I'm going to use is at the bottom on the blue menu. Uh, we have, there's an addition, subtraction, multiplication, division sign. What this will do is just allow you to write out an equation. Um, so I'm going to do 215 minus 139. That will equal something. I don't know what that something is. That's the unknown for us here. Um, so on any time you need to re or move this around, you can do a two finger pinch to make things smaller, to make things bigger. I'm gonna kind of have it smaller so I have more of a workspace. So what I am going to do here is first build 215 by tapping and dragging out two hundreds, Oops, one ten, and five ones. Just a tap and drag. Okay, there's my 215. I want to subtract 139 from this. Um, what I can do um, is there are several options. I can use the drawing tool to kind of put an X on the things that are being subtracted. I could select them and when they are highlighted in that blue, that means it's selected. So I can select items or a group of items by circling it with one finger and then push the trash can at the bottom to throw it away. Um, but then I might forget how many I have subtracted. So what I'm going to do is select it as I'm subtracting it and then change it to the color red so I can see them still. So I'm going to subtract nine ones. So there's one, two, three, four, five, uh-oh, I wa ran out of ones. What can I do? Well, I can circle or select this 10, and then an option down at the bottom on the blue menu is to select the image that has two squares that are being pushed apart from each other. This is going to decompose that 10 into 10 ones, so I can continue my subtraction. So I've already subtracted five, I need to subtract 9, so I'm going to continue. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so there are all the, the red ones are the ones that I have subtracted. Now I'm going to subtract 3 tens. Now I look at this and I'm like, I don't see tens anywhere. There's not a 10 rod because I decomposed the 10 into ones. Well, do the same thing with a hundred. I can select it, decompose that one hundred into ten tens, 
and then I can make three of them be subtracted by making them red. I got rid of three tens, and now I need to get rid of one hundred. There we go, I've subtracted one hundred thirty-nine. Now how much is left over? Now I just need to count all of the yellow pieces. I'm actually going to tap and drag them so I can count them and make sure I don't make a mistake. So there's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, whoops, 75, 76. So in my equation, my solution is 76. 215 minus 139 equals 76. Excellent. Now I can select the whole thing and throw it in the trash, but oh no, that leaves my equation up there so I can push the refresh button, which asks me if I want to start over. We're going to quickly do an addition problem. Uh, let's do 112 plus 299. Oh, and equals something. Okay, so on this one I'm going to build both of my add-ins. So there's 112. 100, 110, and two ones. For my second add-in, 299. Here's 100. I'm going to change the color so I can differentiate between these two add-ins. So 200. And then rather than tapping and dragging, I'm going to have this one selected and I'm going to duplicate it, which is the little button or icon on the bottom that has two squares on top of each other. So we have 10. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Okay, I need nine ones. Doing the same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, now to solve this problem, uh, I'm going to first select my ones. I have nine ones in green and two ones in the yellow. And if I push or tap the little icon of the two squares coming together with the arrows, it will compose these ones into a new 10 if it's possible. And it is, because there was more than 10. So I have an additional 10, and then we have that one left over still. Now I'm going to circle these one, these tens, and I know I have nine green ones, and I have two yellow ones. If I put those together, it gives me 100, and then that 10. So now I have 100, 200, 300, 400, a 10, and a 1 to be 400. Oh, I need to delete that. 411. And there we have it. We just use number pieces for a subtraction problem and a addition problem. Now, did we meet the objectives? Yes, I can use technology tools, such as number pieces, to assist in the problem solving process appropriately. I can use place value understanding to solve addition and subtraction problems, and I can use the number pieces software. Thank you for watching, and have fun being a mathematician.